fam, you looking for parking? I got you, I just leave that joint right there, what's good? Ballet, I got the ballet right here, 75. Sure? I could do the less I could do, 75 all day though. 75 all day. Bro, you gotta get out the car though, give me the key. Bro, you gotta get out the car though, give me the key. You're on the sidewalk. Get out the way, I got you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this is nice right here. Are you sure, man? I got y'all, B. That way right there, all right? I'll be back in a couple hours. You got no key ass It's the pull up show with DJ Martian. I got the one and only Instagram sensation, uh, Commodore. Shot. What's good? <laughs> I'm here. Ready. Got the jokes ready, bro. Well, mm -hmm. Commodore, for the people that don't know you, let's um give them a, a brief history on Commodore. Who's Commodore? Well, Commodore is a motherfucking gangster. You know what I'm saying? Nigga from the hood. That's how he Commodore. He grew up killing niggas. You know what I'm saying? Shanking niggas. Now, just... <laughs> like, where is this going? <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. So I am Commodore as an actor, comedian, you know what I'm saying? Born and raised Spanish Harlem. You know what I mean? Been doing this for a minute, 2010, 2011. Doing stand-up, acting, comedy, all that. Skits, YouTube, before Instagram. But you know, I, I, I rock with the, you know, um, Instagram sensation because that's where everybody knows me from. But that's not actually where it started. It started... It started a long time ago, like on MySpace. You was on MySpace with it? <laughs> there it is. It started a bit a minute. I've been doing this for a minute. But so you was ahead of the curve before everybody else. Six, seven years on it. Six, six, seven years on it. What was your first skit? Do you remember what it was? Don't mess with a black man's chicken. I joined hit World Star overnight. Shout out to uh, Q, Q World Star, rest in peace. That's when you had to go on a lap on a desktop. You had to jump and sit in a chair and you had to type it in like. Worldstar.com. You couldn't get on your phone, phone and, and catch you it. Go on Instagram. Yeah, you had to. So you say, saying that you was ahead of the curve. Do you think that was well more beneficial or worse for you? Like, should you have started after this whole Instagram think, sensation think, popped off? I think I really enjoy how it started. Like, I, I would do it all over the same again. Like, I have history. You know, a lot of people just hopped on it and just doing it to do it. Like, I have a craft and I really enjoy it. And, it comes from the era where it started, you know what I'm saying? Like all the YouTubers, you know what I'm saying? I was around for the era, so I, they got to see like the growth, you know what I mean? Definitely, definitely. So Commodore, do you have anybody else like under the wing that you put on to the game? Nah, not really. Like in the stand-up game, I, I, I blessed. I blessed a couple of comedians on stage. I gave them their first opportunity to perform in, 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 my, in, my, in my room and in front of my crowd. That's about it, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to them, they, they still working hard, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to a couple of comedians, new comedians up there, but nah. I'm still growing, you know what I'm saying? So I don't even got chances to put nobody on there. I just, you know what I'm saying? I just work with a, a certain, certain you know, couple of people in the game and all that, you know what I mean? But nah, not at all. So out of the kings of comedy, who has to go? Out of the kings of comedy, who what? Who gotta go? Out of the Steve Harvey, the D.L. Hughley, None. None, none. Hey, no, none one, one has go. to go. One of them gotta go. Nah. One of them gotta go. Steve Harvey here gotta come back. <laughs> like, nah, none of them gotta go, man. They they all good at what they do, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're the kings. Do you see yourself up there one day? I'm a king already, man. You're already, already, already there. I'm a king already. I agree, you are. That's a lot of work, man. Shout out to them, man. But Martin Lawrence, shout out to Capone. These are my top, you know what I'm saying? The kings are the kings, but I got my own top. Who's your, top five? Got, Who's your top five? Who's your top five? I got Chappelle, I got Martin, I got my mentor, the gangster comedy Capone. When mm. that put that put a lot of people on that y'all know about. You're not getting saying, credit. Been around for years. Who else? It's a lot, man. Not a fan of Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker? Shout out to Chris Tucker, man. Love Chris Tucker in the movies and all that. That's exactly why I brought that up. Do you see yourself on a big screen one day? That's what we're doing this for. Doing this, this is what I do. Act the comedian. 
I don't put myself in one one boat. Like I'm not a stand-up comedian. I don't call myself a stand-up comedian. I love stand-up. That's not my passion. I love acting and, and doing comedy. I so you're an entertainer. Things. I love entertaining. You know what I'm saying? I love putting out that work, writing and, and watching my my writing and directing go places. That's what I love doing. So, you, so at one point you will be behind the camera one day, yeah, definitely directing stuff. Spike Lee, I'll be in it. I'll be on the film and behind the camera. Like, I'm not, I'm, I want to be all over the place. Uh, I agree. I agree. That's the way it should be done. For real. Well, Commodore, I know you have an alter ego. What's his name? Oh, talk about that bum ass dude, Fresh Out. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh Out, the alter Fresh ego. Fresh Out, and a go. That's a character, it's not even all to eat because I have many a character. I just have not brought them to the light yet because I think it's feels I think it's too much for like social media. That it'll be it'll be better like if I saved it until I get to that level where it needs to be like released. Like sitcom just like yeah, Martin uh, had like, yeah, like, like movies and all that. And all that. definitely a lot of characters I have I have not released yet. But Fresh Out is like number one right now. Everybody loves Fresh Out. Definitely. Fresh Out. Fresh Out. You doing time right now? Nah, he chilling. He's probably on the block. <laughs> Waiting for somebody to pull up. In a truck, oh, ah. robbed him or something, you know. Damn, damn, damn. I hope yes, I don't run into fresh did. out. Please, oh, <laughs> well, um, Commodore, what's next for Commodore in the next six months? What are we gonna, where are we going to see Commodore? Yo, God is good. You never know. I Give me something me. exclusive. What are you working on? Give me something exclusive. I can't do it right now, man. I can't do it, man. <laughs> you never know. Like, every day it just gets great for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? The calls is coming in interviews the people I'm around so you know like time is coming like you know what I'm saying you just gotta be prepared but there's a lot of work to do a lot of work so next couple of years I just see myself going up that ladder growing and growing and just accomplishing everything that I ever wanted to you know? definitely you see more success than like the music video streams you know how, like they always have like the skits in the in the music video you like the audio they call it trash Oh, no and I call calling? I still, I'm still feel hype, William. I'm still with the old Dr. X. I feel the old joints. No, I'm still with the 90. I'm still stuck in the when, when it was create, it was creativity. Now it's a song, and you got the visual if you're creative. But when you see the, the video actually on TV, is like, I didn't spend a million dollars on this. If y'all did, I don't think they spend it that much no more. The budget's not, the budget's not up there no more. So like, the videos are not selling the songs no more. Like the songs are selling themselves. Me. True, true. So that but, avenue is kind of flat right now. So. It would be dope if they had influences and creators like myself and, and sat down with us and helped and needed, needed help. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a great avenue for me because I'm good at music. Like, music is my first love. Nobody knows about that. Like, I, I write music. I can, I can make music. I'm a music artist, but I haven't. RB artist or a rapper? <laughs> I can't sing, but I can, spit, I can spit a little bit. Like, if I really took time off and and put all, all my focus on rapping and all that, like, I'd probably be the hottest next thing out here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you like you didn't believe in me. Like, oh, no, you know, oh, you no. Know. You just said, I don't know, I see was, a lot of rappers. There's always a lot of rappers that say they can rap. You can show them There's a lot of strippers out there that feel like they can rap, too. Look at Cardi B. Believe in but me, she's my nigga. See? 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 <laughs> I always believed in Cardi. I love Cardi. <laughs> Nobody, you know what I'm saying? We should have pulled it, because, like, yeah, whatever. Nah, shit. I love Cardi since day one. Yeah. <laughs> I was a yeah. supporter. What? Well, right, Commodore, there's a web series that you have out now called 124. Tell the people about it. Um, it's not mine. I'm a co-writer co on it. And shout out to Chalio and Mia, you know what I'm saying? Husband, wife, those are my brothers and sisters. They basically the ones that directed and produced it. I play a character named Lit. Basically, I come from a, you know what I'm saying, a single parent home, growing up in the street, you know what I'm saying, regular hood shit. The character Lit is not me. But it's some of the stuff I've been through growing up. So you can know relate. What I'm huh? So you can relate. Yeah, you to can it. relate. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody always asks, you know, how did I play that character? Like, because you know, that was the life I lived, like about like 17 years ago. I was really in the street, gang banging, you know what I'm saying? Letting my gun go off, however they call it now, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Popping off. Like I was really wild in that one time. So So what made you change your life around? Um going to jail too much, you know what I'm saying? Getting locked up. Like I start, you know what I'm saying? I like them, I like I like money. You know what I'm saying? I got a job. I got older. I had to like really like grow up. You know what I'm saying? Lucky I did it all at at, at that age because you know what I'm saying? Still people my age right now that still don't don't understand. That's why I get the character fresh out. Not to go off topic, but yeah, that's basically you know what I'm saying. Like, so what would you tell the youth right now that's watching this? You know that's 
in the streets right now, in the gang violence, and all of that. They, they gotta they gotta make a decision. They gotta get out of that like right now. Make that decision right now. Like if it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, get up out of there. Like if you feel uncomfortable picking up that gun, stabbing somebody, you should always feel uncomfortable doing that. If you don't, then you're the devil. Like, <laughs> but get out of the street. Get out of that street life, man. That, that, that ain't about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Get that money. Take care of your family. Go to school. Do something. Do something positive with yourself. Man. Right. I agree. So Commodore. We see that in your skits, you always, um, you add your crazy girlfriend. What you want to do, a voiceover? Because my real girl is not crazy. <laughs> so get the, the, one, the, crazy one, the one with the knife, the one with the guns, the one. Oh, that one. Yeah, that one, the yeah, real yeah. girlfriend, the that one that one. be pulling up. Yeah, like, see, that's another character, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she bugged out, you know what I'm saying? And that dude, I don't know who he is, because I would not been with her. <laughs> but like, that's like a... I, I like skits like that because I like putting stuff like that because it's like it always hits home. Definitely people can relate so to it. That's why I use the voiceover. You don't want no real chick in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude is dude. It's not me. Somebody's going through that. So I like putting stuff out like that. Definitely dope. What you did with um, um, the Love & Hip Hop Superstar, Cayenne. That was dope too. Those yeah, skits. Yeah, shout out to Cayenne. That's my sister. You know what I'm saying? She's very creative musically and writing like skits and all that. We do all this together. But... Most of the time, they be her crazy ideas, and I just revamp, we come together and do them. It's my sis, shout out to Cayenne. That's actually shout one of Jamaica. the first places that I seen Cayenne. And I, and she, I know she's an artist. I know she was an artist before yeah. the skits, but right. yeah, the skits kind of took her to another level. Yeah. And that's where the love of hip hop thing came from, I think. Uh, definitely. definitely. Do you see yourself on love of hip hop one day? Well, the, she's going to be, you know what I'm saying, the next season. We are like best friends, so y'all might catch me in a couple of cameos with her and Jacque and my girl, you know, of course, be with me. We all be hanging out, so you might see us, you know what I'm saying, fighting with them somewhere. <laughs> Get one of them on the checks. Yeah, real quick. <laughs> all right, so Commodore, it was great having you on the show today. We're going to run over to the truck real quick, make sure everything's all right over there. Yeah, you got it parked out. I got. I did the valet there. Oh, valet to drove who? There's no valet in the, in the hood, son. What are you doing? Yo, hold on. Let me go check it go out. Look, man. He got us, man. He got us, man. This shit never went in the lot, bro. Come on. Why the fuck you do that, bro? Why don't you do that? Hello? No kid. Listen, we going on a date. I just got the Jeep, baby. Yeah, it's lit. <laughs> yeah.